Hello and welcome. Now this is a bit of a supplementary video to a peep video which I posted this week, the PVM video. Yes, there's a reason why, you know, lately my nostalgia time <laughs> videos as well as my, you know, gameplay reviews so forth are running a bit thin. You know, I've got monitor issues. Let me elaborate. Now, in this video, I'll be giving you insight about a negative experience that I've recently had. Now, this is in hope for, you know, a positive outcome. So, if you can learn from my experience, do the things which I did, do the things which I didn't do, <laughs> even, and, you know, basically it's a heads up. The last time I did a, a video like this was about a year ago. So, you know, one a year isn't bad. Let's hope I never have to do another one again. Now, for this seller who sold me this you know, PVM monitor on eBay, it would have actually been a positive video. You know, as I promised, promoting his business, his eBay store, so forth. Like I always do. I mean, you know, I've got my playlist for reviews and overviews and first impressions is kind of getting big now. <laughs> so, you know, I do that all the time anyway. I mean, when um, somebody has developed a piece of hardware and decides to send me it, you know, gift it to me, uh, or when a game developer decides to send me their game, gift it to me. They've not asked for a review. They've not sent it me for a review. They've just sent it me because they want to send it to me. They want to gift me something. And that's really nice. You know, that's makes me feel like doing a video on it. You know, I just want to. So that's how I thought about any other, you know, and also just to kind of like make people aware of it. Not There's not that many things. We're in a niche community, actually. There's not that many things around. So. You know, I want to share my experience and especially if it's like a gift, I want to, you know, help out, you know, hardware developers, game developers, software developers, so forth, you know, and spread the word for them. Now, unfortunately, with, you know, this experience with the monitor turned very quickly from pleasant to sour and then eventually to bitter. Now, just as you peel back the freaking layers of an onion and you realize there's like putrid layers inside and then you eventually, you know get to the rotten core. Now, somebody not so long ago actually said to me, yes, Maddie, someone's privacy is sacred. And it's good that you don't reveal the people you talk about in these, you know, these talk videos of yours who you have issues with. Well, my dignity is also sacred. And, you know, if I am pushed hard enough, if I'm messed around hard enough, that includes underhanded freaking passive aggression or whatever, you know. I will reveal all, and I will do it with rationality and tact. Now, for a couple of months, I had my eye on, you know, this 20-inch uh, Sony PVM monitor. And, you know, I've been waiting for it for a while, saving my pennies up. And, you know, I paid for it instantly the moment I could afford it. You know, I bought it, paid eBay. Like, I do everything on eBay. You know, someone it so quick. <laughs> now, the seller was delivering it him delivering it himself and he said okay it's gonna be like a saturday it was monday it's like a week late but that's like, okay fine you know he's delivering it himself people are free mostly at the weekend now come the weekend knock at the door a charming guy comes in with a big smile and a big monitor and he offers to bring it up here you know and i was like thanks so much you know that's very kind of him so i turn it on and you know i test it while it's here uh, the monitor is on the menu screen, which, you know, the background is black and then the screen, the, the text is, you know, white. So, and it looks good. You know, it looks all fine. So I said I'm happy with it. Now, he then said, you know, do you mind spreading the word about this? And I was just like, well, actually, I was planning to do that anyway because, you know, I'm a YouTuber and I'm going to make a video about this. So I'll be showing all the details on it and I'll be, you know, giving them a link to your eBay store so they can, you know, whoever can just buy from you, you know. And there's going to be like, you know, 2,000 2, plus people probably viewing it. So, you know, there you go. Now, he was quite surprised, you know, seeing this place and, you know, all that I'm doing. And uh, he kept saying, I can't believe it. You're a woman and you're into all this. It's, you know, surreal and stuff. Uh, you're my favorite customer and, you know, so forth. You know, the rest of them are just blokes and, you know, so forth. I mean, he seemed like a nice guy. So I thought, okay, I'm going to just like do a good video for him, you know, make, give him good feedback, so forth. Now, a little later on, I decided to connect my Amiga up and properly test this. I connected the Amiga 500 up. I'm, I'm glad I did now. 
because you know the white screen the white kickstart screen actually revealed that this monitor has a burn-in on the bottom right you know as you can see in this image here there's literally nothing that can be done if the tube is burned in then it's burned it needs replacing I checked the back of the monitor uh, and I remember the one which I bought on the description on the eBay site said 2002 on its back. It was dated, the manufacturer date, 2002. Now he had given me the oldest one from all his listings because I checked them all and I made sure that I get the latest one. You know, I buy the latest one. He gave me the one from May 1997, right? So I contacted him and I said, you know, this one, I told him the issues, I said this got burn in, so forth, and the one which I bid it on was, the one which I bought was 2002, just as the listing said, in pristine condition, and so two things wrong here, right? The description said pristine condition, this is not pristine condition, this is freaking burn, and secondly, the the image the product is not as shown in the images he got back to me the next day saying that the 2002 monitor which i bought he's given it to some he's given it to another guy now so he is struggling to find another that's 2002 or 2000 now i specifically went for the 2002 one because this is a medical grade monitor it's been used in hospitals and you know the medical field and so forth this thing is going to be used to an inch of its freaking life five years of usage of intense daily usage is a lot and i knew this now he even asked me if i'm interested in another monitor that is newer it's got you know more lines higher resolution so forth and it's much better than this and um he's and i said okay how much for her um because i was thinking i was confused i already bought this one from him and he's like oh it's just 100 pounds more and i was like okay you know <laughs> i already paid a lot for this i paid 350 pounds for this monitor that's a lot of money right and he's asking me for another 100 for a better monitor so hypothetically i said if i want the newer monitor how do i pay him and he said, oh, that's okay, you know, when I come and I bring it, you just give me £100 in cash. And I was just like, whoa, no, 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 no. Thinking to myself, I'm not going to give you freaking cash in hand, £100, right? Because this is outside of eBay. I cannot claim it back if anything happens to it. And, you know, I, then I said, actually, I'm not so comfortable with that. What about PayPal? And he hesitatingly said, okay paypal yes and i was just like okay then give me your paypal address right and um he says i will text you after after this call then he started kind of like getting a little flirty with me and he's like this time i'm gonna wait around he said this time i'm gonna wait around and you know make sure you are 100 percent pleased with this even if it takes three hours to test yeah it's like, hey, could it even take five hours to test? <laughs> and I was just thinking to myself, I just want a freaking monitor. Guess what? After the call, he didn't send me the PayPal address. And I was definitely not going to give him £100 cash in hand. So what I decided to do, you know, a few alarm bells started ringing. What I decided to do is look up these two monitors. L2MD is the newer one, M2MDE is the older one, right? So I looked at them, I looked at the specs of each one side by side, their, you know, service manuals, so forth, and they are identical. Identical lines, identical resolution, identical f everything. So I'm just thinking to myself, okay, they're clearly too different. Because he said they're higher grade. They're higher, you know, thingy. So I thought to myself, these two clearly, these two monitors clearly are, you know, two different models. Why are they the same? Why are they exactly the same? What's the difference between them? So that's the second opinion. My friend decided to, you know, look up as well, these two monitors. And, um, you know, I told him the entire situation. So... He then said, he found a forum thread, and in, on that thread it said that, you know, these two monitors are actually the same. The L2MD is the newer revision 
of the M2 MDE, right? So basically they're exactly the same. Now on the forum and looking at people's experiences, people actually preferred the older one, the M2 MDE, simply because, you know, there's actually a, a couple of reasons why. Because one reason is that the, the glass has a bit of a darker shade, it's darker glass. So you got, got more of a crisp contrast. You got an, a crisp picture and a nice contrast on the image. And also the menu system is more user friendly, you know, on this one. There's more hardware buttons, whereas in the newer one, the menu, it is more like in the menu. So you have to search for, you know, so forth, whatever setting that was normally on the hardware one on this. And another couple of people said the L2MD, the newer one, it's a hundred pounds more, is actually more prone to failures than this older one. So I messaged him. I messaged him and I said, I've looked up both of them. I've researched both of them. They're more or less exactly the same. And um, I said to him, actually, could you please bring both the monitors, the L2 MD that you're, you know, you're trying to sell me for a hundred pounds more and the M2 MDE and another replacement good M2 MDE, right? Instantly, all his charm, all his fluff and flirtiness and all that stuff went cold. And he started giving me short, cold answers. Basically, he was just trying to make me spend more money on this. And in the end, I would have got the same thing, if not one that fails quicker. So he says he's going to be around on Saturday, the coming Saturday, which would have would end up being 40 days, two weeks, you know, since I actually made the payment. That's a long time, 14 days. You know, the window for claiming something that's faulty or anything like this on eBay, I'm not sure how much it is, how big the window is, but I think it's pushing it. Now, he, then I said, okay, fine, Saturday. Maybe he cannot come during the week. Now, he contacts me closer to Saturday, right? This is where things get interesting. He contacts me closer to Saturday and he says, I can't come Saturday, I will be coming on Sunday, please. He's not asking me, he's telling me that he's coming on Sunday. Whether I find it okay or not. Now, then comes Sunday, I'm getting everything prepared, right? Getting the, the cables, the computers, to test. I'm gonna test this freaking everything. I'm gonna test composite, Luma, Chroma, RGB, everything. I'm gonna test on this these monitors. Because, you know, I've lost my trust in the seller. Come closer to the time when he's about to come, right? Come, come closer to the time when he's just about to arrive. He said, sorry, I cannot make it this evening. You know, are you around tomorrow, Monday after four? And I was just like, this is ridiculous. What, you know? And I said, okay, yes, I am, but I'm not happy about this, you know. <sighs> Twice delayed, this guy, can come. He could have come on Saturday. I'm starting to think this is a power struggle with me and he's trying the hardest to remain in control and in dominant. He says that he lives in Bournemouth and he's doing a million things at once. That's good for him. But I paid 350 pounds for a monitor. Why should I care about him running around doing million things at once? You know, I paid for this, he hasn't delivered. I paid for a pristine monitor. And I don't care now. I've waited for two weeks. I don't care if he has to go to Helsinki, then go to Argentina, then go to Canada or Iceland and then back here. You know, it's just, as long as I get the freaking monitor. I've been patient enough. So I'm not sure why he expected me to really care about him about, when the regards to this. Now, he arrives on the day, brings both monitors and, you know, brings the M2 MDE replacement first so that I check the date on the back and I see it's 1999. I know he's got 2000 monitors over 2000. I know it. But anyway, he says he hasn't got any later ones. So, you know, I connect it to the Amiga 500, turn it on and the screen is pink. Yeah. And the tints, uh, it's the tint settings. So 
Now, while the screen is pink, and I'm trying to figure out how to correct the tint on the screen, right? He stood behind me, going on about, Oh, such a good picture. These monitors are amazing. They're fantastic. Oh, look, what a good picture. Blah, blah, blah. I turned around to him and I said, It's pink. And he's like, oh, that's probably a setting. Oh, look how great it is. Oh, so, you know, blah, blah, blah. So I found the tint settings in the menu, finally, when I could concentrate about him going on about how great it is. And I made it normal. You know, I saw it, no burn on the screen. It all seems to work fine. You know, I was happy with it. And I was, to be honest, I was fed up. Really, I was fed up. I couldn't stand his attitude, his patronizing attitude. There's a lot I haven't told you, you know, throughout. So now, while I'm testing this out, you know, I tested it on the, the RGB, I'm going to test it out on the Luma Chroma using the CD32 and Composite, again, on the CD32. So I was, you know, checking these inputs and he then said, uh, permission to go, you know, so you know, I need to get going, I need to blah, blah, blah. So I was thinking to myself, what happened to the three, maybe five hours that you said you were going to stay and make sure I was happy with everything? Why are you trying to get away quick? Now, just as I'd finished testing the equipment, he really tried to get out and go as quick as possible. And um, he then said, just before he left, he then said, I'm so glad you're pleased with it. You know, really, because women are hard to please. I know very well that women are so difficult to please, and I'm very happy that you're pleased with it all. Again, he brings up this woman thing. He's done it more than once. He's he brings up this woman thing, trying to manipulate me into being the one who proves him wrong. That proves that, that, that makes me try to prove that women uh, don't complain. The women are pleased. I wasn't pleased when he said that. You know, I was thinking to myself, maybe women would be easier to please if you didn't try to upload your low grade reject stuck onto us. And, you know, didn't patronize us in the process. You know, you, you treated us with more respect then maybe we would be easier to please. You clearly made it clear that you gave the monitor which you sold to me to some male customer, right? And you gave me a really nasty old faulty one with a burn in on the side. And you played dumb. And in all honesty, I don't give a crap about women and men's issues. I just want a working monitor that I paid for in full and that I didn't realize that there's a special offer that women get, you know, with a freaking this attitude of patronizing me and everything, you know, and, and this weird power play that, that was going on. I'm not stupid. I know what the hell's going on. We may let certain things slide to keep the peace, but we notice it. Yeah, we take note of it. We're not stupid. Now, while I was testing the monitor, I told him that I'm a very loving, kind, friendly person. But if someone takes advantage of me, of my kindness, and sees it as a weakness, that, you know, there's a lifetime worth of experience which I have. And my experience being in tech and dealing with sexism and misogyny, you know, I can be a bitch when I really want to defend myself. And his face dropped like a ton of bricks when the moment I said that. Guilty. Now once he ran off, I decided to do a soak test on this monitor, right? You know, as in, you know, leave it on for a while, for a couple of hours with an Amiga demo running so it doesn't, you know, burn. It was like moving images so it doesn't burn it, right? So, you know, I let it sit for like three hours and it was like, okay, but I noticed it started developing a slight whining sound. And, you know, I thought, okay, maybe I'm just not that used to CRTs. And it was kind of affecting me. You know, when you have that high pitch kind of whine and it makes you feel a little queasy, you know, just a slight bit, you know, there's something just feels off about it. Now, um, I thought to myself, okay, it cannot be me not being used to CRTs because I'm fine with a small PVM monitor. You know, it's barely can notice anything. Now, while soak testing this guy, the, the monitor, this guy messages me again on WhatsApp, right? Now, this time he is pushing me. He's like charms and stuff, right? And he's pushing me to give him feedback that very evening. And he's, you know, it was just like, okay, dude, chill. I'm just getting to know the monitor. And I was kind of like joking around with him a bit. 
I was just like, just give me the chance. I will get to know the monitor, then I will leave you good feedback, right? He didn't take no for an answer. He was really, and I mean really, trying to push for feedback and push for positive feedback. He's saying, I want to see you give the, give me the best feedback. Here, see the messages. You know, just there. You can pause the video if you want to, you know, longer to see the freaking messages. Now, as you notice, I said to him that I'm getting very suspicious because it's starting to make me think that there's something up with this monitor. The fact that you're pushing me this hard. And he laughed all the way across the screen. As you can see. This guy is screwing me around. I know that for sure. I decided to turn on the monitor again next day for another test. And when turning it on, I felt a slight queasiness. That same weird queasiness again, but a little more. And the whining was a bit louder. Now, the previous day, it wasn't as bad, but it was starting to get the more I, you know, let the the more I had it on. Bear in mind, this thing hadn't been moved. He put it on that, you know, workbench and it was there. It's still there for a while. It's heavy. It's 30 kilograms. I'm not going to lift it if I don't need to lift it. You know, it's huge. Now, another thing that I noticed when daylight came, I mean, when it was testing it, he was rushing me so much, you know, quick, I need to go, I need to go. Yeah. I was too busy. I couldn't think. And he, when I was trying to sort that pink freaking screen out, which I'm wondering if he set up, because I'm wondering now, he started saying, he started like getting me busy with this, you know, I was, and then he started, he couldn't shut up saying, you know, oh, it's, it's, um, it's so good. It's such a good blah, blah, blah. And I was like, it's freaking pink. You know, I hadn't noticed that night. This thing has no... Sony logo badge on it. Pristine condition. On the picture, it's got a Sony logo. What's this guy trying to do? Or was did he bring a crap replacement so that I choose the L2MD and pay him 100 in cash? Something is screwy here, right? This is when things started getting a little serious, right? When the second day I turned this thing on and I turned it off, the whining in my ears lingered. You know, I started getting tinnitus or tinnitus, however you pronounce it. You know, the ringing in the ears. And this lasted for a week. Do you know when you've, you know, you've come back from a really loud place, maybe a concert or something like that, and your ears are ringing for like about, you know, four days or something. And, you know, it's, it, it was like that. It was exactly like that. And I was starting getting worried because I, even after a week, the ringing was still there. So I was like, okay, screw the money, screw the monitor. Um, it, it, you know, it starts getting really serious when your health is involved. Now, the causes for this monitor's high pitch whining could be old capacitors, as well as the flyback transformer inside, because, you know, you know, it's vibrating at a high frequency. And over time, it'll come loose and it'll vibrate and it'll just make more of a racket. You know when it when it's when it comes a bit loose so you know it probably needs desoldering and reseeding and you know that should reduce some of the whining and you know the capacitors will probably reduce the other you know it's quite an old thing so i started tallying up all the i went through the spent the entire um afternoon and evening it took me a long time uh, tallying up all the capacitors when i do the recapping i will save whoever is buying this monitor and wants to recap it i will save you the trouble and i will show you all the tally of all the capacitors the list and so forth right tally them all up the capacitors and um how many of which do i need so forth while my ears were still ringing from that weird you know it was just i wasn't feeling right because of that and um it came to 80 pounds for the capacitors because I'm not going to get any old crap capacitors right I'm going to get Rubicon ones or Panasonic ones you know Japanese capacitors because I'm not I don't look at this thing do you want to keep recapping this thing every freaking five years no I don't want to I'm going to recap it with good capacitors so I don't need to recap it for another like 20 years or something right so I then said you know 80 pounds on top of 350 pounds for something that was not even my fault so I contacted this guy 
I said, you know, actually this is this is creating a fault in it. You've given me a really bad monitor and you haven't even, you know, the uh, the Sony logo's not even there. And you said pristine condition. So he just said in a cold way, return it. So I opened an eBay case, right? And this dude seems this dude seems very inexperienced with eBay, because once I opened the case, he obviously got an e you know message from eBay. So he then you know panicked a bit, and then he sent me you know long freaking emails in the eBay messaging system, and you know he called me fake, and he you know he said all the things he did to me projected onto me, saying that I did them to him. And I was just like, oh, okay, here we go again, you know, this is to be expected because this is typical behavior of somebody who is manipulative, egotistical, and refuses to take responsibility of his own actions. And he clearly had something planned to screw me around that he's covering up at the moment. So yeah, he's going to project it all on me. It's me. It's the freaking villain, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. So I said, you know, forget all that. I can't be bothered arguing with you. And I don't need to prove myself to you. So I just want a refund for the 80 plus the logo, which he himself offered 20 pound refund, right? And we can call it that. You know, I won't return the monitor as long as you give me a partial refund. That's fair, right? Because, you know, I wouldn't have to pay for the capacitors. And not just the capacitors. Recapping this thing is going to take me a long time. This is the biggest recap I'm, I'm going to ever do. This is huge. You know, he hurled accusations towards me in this, oh, and then then he says, while I'm calm and collected all the time, just check the messages. I'm calm and collected all this time, and he's just like, oh, I don't appreciate you being rude to me either. Oh, yeah, good, just project the last thing on me. Yeah, Very good. Well done. You know, you think that you've convinced me, and you've convinced everyone around you, yeah? This convincing yourself that you're the innocent one makes you look really stupid. Because you've, you, you think you've beat me, but you haven't. You think you've convinced everyone else. But you've only convinced yourself and you just look like a clown. He only referred to 20 because he said, oh, it's your fault, you broke it. I was like, you, you, it's where you left it. It's not moved since. So I didn't break it. How can I break it by just turning it on? If I break it by just turning it on, then you sell me a shit one. <laughs> yeah? Simple as. There's not me who's broken and you sent me a crap one. Now, he only refunded 20, right? Now, this thing, to send it back, is going to need, you know, specialist packaging. It's huge. It's 30 kilograms and it's massive. Now, it's going to... The packaging, which I'll probably have to pay, it's going to be 20 pounds, 30 pounds, whatever. It's going to take a chance. It's going to make... It's, it's going to be expensive for me to actually send it back. Now, he then eBay said, okay, wait for the seller to give you a return slip. He didn't give me a return slip. He just freaking left it and went off. So what happened was eBay then sent me a return slip on his behalf. And guess what? Look at the return slip. Zero to two kilograms. This thing is 30 kilograms. What do I do? He's rigged these auctions up so you cannot return. So, what do I do? I cannot return this thing, and, you know, I've been ripped off, scammed, whatever. Called me a scammer. How the frick am I a scammer? You know, I bet you, yeah, these, he gets these monitors for free, I'm pretty sure, because a lot of people throw these out. If he's going around hospitals, yeah, they're not gonna, he, they're not gonna, like, charge him, sell these monitors to him. They're gonna pay him to get rid of these monitors, yeah. Most more often than not, and then he's selling them on eBay to us lot, to us retro lot, saying, "Oh, these lot did die for these monitors, right?" So he's probably sending, he's probably like making a killing on these, and he's just got really cocky. Sorry, but you know, you've scammed me, so I will fight back. I'm probably more so than the next person. Now, unfortunately, this is not a positive video. I wish it was, but I cannot lie to myself and say that everything is fine when it's not. You know, I'll be doing myself an injustice and I'm definitely not going to do that. You know, so this guy actually wanted me to do that. He even said, uh, as you said, oh, he even said, oh, your promise to make a video for me was probably fake too. 
Now my advice to you lot, for anybody who's after a PVM or BVM monitor on eBay, especially if it's, you know, from this guy or from anybody else. Now, it's your choice whether you want to buy from this guy or not. You know, you need to ask yourself. If you ask me, you've got a more better chance if you have the right bits in between your legs. Yeah? If you've got the same bits he's got in between your legs, you've got a better chance. But... Even with that, even for you guys, you men who want to buy from him, are you, you need to ask yourself, are you comfortable buying of somebody who's capable of doing all this, who's capable of scamming? You just need to ask yourself that. It's your choice, of course, you know. I mean... There's a, as I said, there's a lot that I haven't told you. Me being a woman was constantly an issue that he kept bringing up and he kept trying to use to patronize me. Yeah, I couldn't be bothered talking about this because it's happened so much yeah, in the tech world. It's not easy for us. Well, the only time it's easy for us is you know, when we show off our bodies on freaking YouTube videos and then that's the only way that we get some somewhat positive manipulated attention. Yeah, We have to give up our dignities for that and I'm not going to do this. So yeah, being a woman in the tech world is not easy. You have to deal with this crap. You get you get favored less. You get treated as though you're stupid, and then you don't know anything. Yeah, you treat it as a lesser. So yeah, you have an advantage. You guys have an advantage. Whatever, right? I couldn't give a crap about women's issues, men's issues, anything like this. I just want a, my monitor. I just want a good working monitor. That's all I wanted, and I paid for it complete. Now, one thing I have to say about this guy, which actually makes me laugh, is the fact that he knows. I told him. I showed him my channel. I showed him everything. He knows that I get up to 2,000 to 3,000 views on my videos, right? So, sometimes, you know, it, it's a big audience. Now, if he knows that I'm going to make a video of it, and he's expecting me to make a video of it, and he's giving me a rotten product, he's giving me, like, you know, low-grade stock that's reject or something, People are going to see it. And they're not going to... I don't need to say anything. They're automatically not going to want to... If they see a freaking with no Sony logo badge on it. If they see it with a burning on the bottom of the screen. No one's going to want to get monitors from him. So he's really... Either he's... His ego is, you know, drowning out his intelligence. He must be really stupid. Wouldn't you, if somebody is creating a video on your products, wouldn't you, like, give them the best product? So that, you know, if you want to advertise it. It doesn't make sense. Why give you a defective product so to, to show the world that your products are crap? <laughs> it's stupid. This guy's really stupid. I still don't get that, to be honest. Like, it makes me laugh still. freaking people this is why this is why i keep myself to myself right i don't care if people are celebrities or anything like this i really do not care i keep myself to myself do my own thing follow my own passion i just i only deal with people who have respect for me because you know everybody respects everybody um deserves basic human respect and if somebody is not willing to give me that if somebody's trying to be shitty with me then you know i've got no time for them I don't care who they are. I don't care if they're like Hollywood sub celebrities even. I just don't care. If someone... I look at people's humanity. What this says. I don't care about this. I don't care about academia. I don't care if you're a doctor. I don't care if you're a big famous whatever. Yeah. If you are unable to respect people. If you are not humble. If you are not down to earth. I cannot respect you. And you will lose my respect. Anyway, this is the un, uh, the unpleasant story which I shared, and I will, you know, make video of the enormous job of recapping this monster, you know, of a monitor, and uh, you know, I'm not looking forward to it to be honest because it's a huge, it's a lot of work, but let's make the best of a bad situation. What else can we do? I'm not going to sit and wallow, you know. It's just I've done that enough in the past, and I'm not willing to waste any more of my life sitting wallowing. I'm gonna just you know, make the best of it. So, 
as I said, please learn from my experience. Um, this is a heads up video, you know, whatever. When you get a mantra like this, test it. Test it thoroughly. Make sure you test everything to do with it. Check the freaking badge. Yeah, check the obvious things as well as check, because that's the thing I didn't do. Check the darn badge. Check everything. Make sure you check everything, especially if it's like advertised as pristine. Yeah. Now, because I have experience in electronics, I've got years of experience. You know, it's not just a fad. I studied electronics, but even before that, since I was 10 years old, I started messing with um, components and so forth. So I've got a huge grasp on electronics. Now, I can sort this monitor out. I can, you know, recap it. I can, you know, reseat stuff and so forth, even though it's just the most unpleasant job to do. But a lot of people are not going to be able to do that. Not everybody has an electronics background. What if you don't on this guy send you this? Then you're trapped with this. You're stuck with it. You, you'll, it gives you headaches. When you turn it on, that wine gives you, it makes you feel queasy. It can damage your ears. Basically what's happening is that the wine is a little higher than the human hearing range. So you cannot hear it, but that, because you cannot hear it, doesn't mean it's, da it's not damaging you. That high pitch wine out of your human hearing range is probably so loud that it affected my ears and they started ringing. So this is, you need to be careful, especially when it comes to health, you know, so yeah, I recommend you darn well test, make sure you do your homework on stuff. He almost sell, he almost made me pay hundred pounds more for a one with a higher resolution, high, this guy's, it was this guy, a car salesman. Well, typical salesman, right? Higher resolution, more lines, more blah, blah, blah. It's exactly the same. In fact, it's slightly inferior. Yeah, do your homework. Anything that you get, learn everything about the freaking monitor before you buy it. Seriously. I, I'm, this is my, you know, think about this. Think about all that's happened here and make sure this doesn't happen to you. Anyway, let's get back to proper videos. You know, I don't, uh, let's hope I don't have to do any more of this. I, I don't want to, I just want to get on with my projects and get on with my nostalgia time. Hopefully want to get this fixed and so forth. So anyway, if you've, if you're still here to the end of the video, thanks so much for hearing me out. And you know, I hope good sales for you. See you in the next video. Adios.